Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and today we're going to take a look at creating a mini map in Unity. Now, creating a unit. Now, creating a mini map is actually a very simple process. So, I've got a simple little world set up here. It's just made with the default Unity assets. We've got a player that can run around and some enemies, if you look at the screen down here, that will come chase us when we get close to them. But at the moment, we don't really. It's hard to keep track of where all the enemies are at a time. So, with a mini map, it would make things a lot easier. So to do this, basically what we're going to do is add an extra camera and put it really high up that we'll be able to see where our individual items are, but we're only going to allow our camera to see certain elements. For example, by adding an icon to each little object that we have around here. So for that, we're going to first of all add a new camera. So I'm going to add a camera. I'm going to position it, so I'm going to put it at with a rotation of 90 on the x-axis. I'm going to put it way up in the air. I'm going to keep going quite high so that we can see a good bit of our area. So if we look on our screen here, we can see way, we can see a lot of this area here. And then I'm going to attach a very simple script. I just made a quick script to control the camera. All it will do is exactly follow the player at this height. So just as a demonstration of that. We run around, you can see the camera is just following this little player down here. So perfect, that's fine. So now we need to actually do some stuff. Let's go ahead and add a couple of icons to our little, uh, to our player here and to our little enemies. So I'm gonna go to my player. I'm gonna right click and create a 2D sprite. And then I have some sprites set up over here. So I'm gonna drag the player icon into that slot. You'll see it comes in pointing up in the air. So I'm gonna position it at one. So it looks like it's pointing up in the air that's not great we want to rotate it so it's flat on the ground like that so we want to put it at x90 we'll do the same for our enemies I'm gonna rename this to be icon and I'm just gonna duplicate this put it onto one of our enemies put it at zero 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 let's double click on it to see where it's gone there we go it's over here uh, we'll actually we'll make that one on the y-axis and we're gonna add the enemy icon in there and we'll duplicate this and put this on all of these enemies. So this will just take a second. And this should be there. There we go. If we start at the bottom and work our way up, it kind of works a bit easier for Unity here. At least if we started scrolling, it would. Okay, we put all those into place. So then I'm just going to quickly select them. and put them at zero on X and zero on Z. So now we have these icons on all these areas here. So we'll collapse this down. And the next thing we want to do is set it so that we only see these icons when we're looking through our map camera. So if I just collapse all this stuff, we go to our camera, all our, all our icons, we can set them using a culling mask over here. So a culling mask can only show things on a certain layer if we want it to. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call this the minimap layer. We're going to get all those icons. So I'm just going to type in icons because I know I just set, set them or just icon because I know I just set that as the name of all our elements. I'm going to select them all, put them on the minimap layer. And then if we go back to our camera, we can say don't show anything, but actually just show minimap. So now we can just see our little icons here. So if I start running around, you'll see, oh, our player's position changes and our little enemies over here will start moving when we get close to them. Okay, so we've got the basics of our minimap here. Let's, so if we wanted to as well, you could add a texture to the ground. So for example, I could just create a 2D sprite on the ground, give it a rotation of 90, make it a huge massive sprite like so. And if you wanted to add a texture for a map or something, you could pop this on here, but we're just going to leave it as, uh, let's just use this for example, put that on the minimap and there we go. We've got a white background all of a sudden, but we'll just stick with this default gray background for now. We've got our camera showing what we wanted to show. The next thing we want to do is set it up so that it can send out this to a texture. And for that, what we're going to do is go into my materials folder here. I'm going to create a, render texture like so and we'll call this map 
render texture. We're going to make it a little bit bigger so it won't appear too uh, pixelated and chunked up. So I'm going to make it 512. It's always good to go in powers of 2 for your values for these things. So then on our camera, we can tell this to render out to that render texture. We have here a target texture slot, so I can drop map render in there. And now, if we go look at the map render, by clicking on it, you'll see it shows the mini map down here. So perfect. <clears throat> then the only thing left for us to do is to display this uh, mini map in our actual game. Obviously, we also don't want these icons showing up in our normal camera view. So if we go to my default camera here, I can set this to on our culling mask not show minimap and not show anything on the minimap layer so now the minimap icons will be hidden from our game they'll only show up in our ui so with that in mind let's go ahead and create some ui so i'm going to create a ui canvas like so switch to 2d view so we can see it better uh, i'm going to set my display to be a certain size there we go just so this will work a little bit easier then i'm going to right click ui uh, raw image is what we want to use for actually displaying our map. So I'm going to click this. And the reason we use raw image rather than image is because we want to put a texture in here. If I right click here and select image, we'll be looking for a sprite. So if I try to drag my map render into sprite, it won't work. But if I try to drag it onto raw image, boom, we get it popping in right there. I'm going to then set the native size. So that's the size we set, that's the 512 by 512. We'll put this in the corner here. And very quickly, we can just start seeing ourselves running around. All right, let's actually maximize this so we can see things a bit better. There we go. So I can run around and I can see over here, hey, there's some enemies. Oh, they're coming to get me. So even though they're hidden by this block, I will know where there's enemies nearby. Now, if we wanted to, do, we could, for example, get these blocks to show up in our game. So I'm gonna select these cubes and put them on the mini map layer. So boom, they instantly appear there. But of course, they're 3D objects, uh, so they look a little bit 3D. Now this might suit your game. You never know what would work nicely with your game, but obviously a 3D object doesn't really fit in with a mini map kind of style. Uh, if we go back to my camera, I can switch it instead to orthographic. So now it'll appear flat no matter what. I can then make our orthographic zoom out because that's quite small there. And we can go with that. So we've got our little mini map in the corner now, but having just a square like this doesn't look great. So let's make it appear a little bit better by adding some masks and some overlays. So I'm going to right click here, create a sorry a UI image this time. I'll go into my UI folder. I have a couple of images set up. So here we have just a blue sprite like this. Set the native size. I'm going to put this down here. Actually, I'm going to just drag this up it doesn't matter if it's a bit bigger I'm gonna drag it up to be roughly the size of our texture we created so this is gonna be our mask image and then I'm gonna add one more actually I'll just duplicate this and this will be our overlay and I'm gonna put this ring on there like that so now we've got a ring we've got this blue area which will be the map but obviously we don't want it just to be blue we want to show our map and we want to cut off anything around the outside so I'm going to make raw image a child of the mask and then on mask I'm just going to add the component mask and that's it so now our mini map is clipped inside this area because our little uh, mask image is smaller than this yellow outline so now I can play and you can see hey we've got a little, nice little mini map so you can customize your mini map obviously like I said you could make a texture on the ground you could put just a giant uh, 2d drawing of your areas if you wanted or just a simple line drawing of the areas of your game but it's a very simple way to show all this stuff oh i just realized that our cubes aren't actually showing up uh, in this view now but that's fine it doesn't really matter that was just for quick demonstration purposes um but you'll see it's very simple to create an easy mini map uh, without having to do really any code the only code that was involved was making the camera to follow the player but that's uh, obviously very simple but there's no code code needed to show this very, very simple and easy to execute minimap. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.